Hello viewer, this is video log day one. I did a bunch of testing for this video log and I didn't really come up with a whole lot of concrete stuff. Um, oh. I was going to stand but uh, kind of holding the camera and I'm thinking this is going to take a little while so I'm going to sit down. I do have a nice chair right up oh, there. It was right under me. Okay, so okay, camera up a little bit. Um, I am doing this video log because I am not a super talkative person, and I need to get my thoughts out. And this way, it's not just me talking to myself, which I do. Um, probably too much. Uh, this way, it's me theoretically talking to you. Uh, whoever you are on the other side of the camera. Um, another reason is that I need to get myself more used to talking to someone else. You on the other side of the camera. Um, and I do need to get thoughts out of my head. I need to get thoughts organized and into a device that's not my head. Uh, didn't really have much of a plan beyond that for the first video log. I guess I want to say that um, I think love is the most important thing in any person's life and I haven't really found it in my own life and uh, it's kind of part of the journey right now. I guess it's what I'm looking for. And I think this is going to help me get there. Not sure how. Um, beyond just love in my life, love in relation to God, which is what God is. I mean, sort of put a loaded statement in there going to have to unpack it a little bit. Um, the Bible, because I am a Christian. The Bible says that God is love. Um, God says it, and so do his disciples. So, uh, God is love, and that's why love is so important to me. Also, it's just kind of the way I grew up. Not necessarily the way I was raised, but the way I grew up. Love is the most important thing and for some people it's sometimes it's really easy and for others it's not and for me it's not the whole general people love thing I mean I'd say I have that down I'm not the kind of person that hates anyone I get to meet someone and I can't Imagine not, not wanting them to survive, to be safe, to be, I don't know, to be the best that they are. I can't imagine wanting badness to happen to them. Just even, even if I think that they're bad, I wouldn't want badness to happen to them. So that was sort of. I guess vloggish in nature. I don't know. I kind of get off on tangent tangents and run with them, and my voice probably gets quiet. I gotta work on that. Um, there was other stuff. Uh, so Christian love, God, uh, Minecraft. <laughs> Wow, that must sound like it came out of left field. Um, I do like Minecraft. I, uh, I like to design things. And one of the best parts of designing something is seeing it built. And Minecraft is kind of the easiest way to do that. To design something in your head and put it together and you have it there. Uh, Originally, when I was younger, a child, 
I had Legos, and Legos were the way to design something, and you saw it built. And now you have Minecraft, which is so much further expanded on it. So yeah, I really like Minecraft. Um, and that's kind of my thing. I don't know, it's the kind of thing that would be my personal thing. And uh, I like humor with people. I mean, I love playing apples to apples because it is the most interactive humor game that there really is. You don't really, there's not really another game where you can get to know people as well. Uh, okay, so, I mean, this stuff was just pretty much about me right now and that's not really what I wanted to do with the video log. I mean, I want it to be about me, obviously, it's my video log. Uh, but a video log is kind of supposed to be what's going on with your life. And I'm sort of jamming my whole life into video log one because it's day one. Um, I guess what I want to say right now is that I'm starting this. This is a big thing in my life now. If I can manage to do it every day. Which is what I plan to do. Um, okay. Uh... I'm starting a schedule kind of thing so that I uh, I know what's happening in my life and I know how much time I'm using on everything and how much free time I actually have which you know when you put your life down on paper hour by hour you kind of realize that you spend a lot of time sleeping and if you work you spend a lot of time working and there's not really a whole lot of other time there unless you make it. Um, so I get why a lot of people that have social lives don't get a lot of sleep, I guess. Um, I'm trying to get my life headed in a certain direction. I mean, I know it's headed in a certain direction. I'm trying to get on that direction. I'm trying to actively move in that direction instead of passively flow to it. Um, I guess flow is what people expect, but I sort of need to be active in this. But uh, the first, the most concrete part of the plan is doing an internship with Chi Alpha, and I'll probably get into that a lot more in the future, but that whole thing can't start for more than a year away from now. I can start preparing for it, which is what I'm going to be doing. Um, and I'll talk about that in later, uh, later days, later vlogs. Um, but it's still, it's a long ways off. Um, there's other stuff. And, you know, I'm still talking to a camera that can have people on the other side of it. And I'm finding that it's still difficult to say stuff. Even though I know there's no one in the room with me right now. Uh, I guess I'll go forward with this. There's a girl. And <laughs> I've known about her. Kind of what I felt about her. I guess I'd have to go with at least 10 years. But... I mean, 10 years ago, I was a kid. I was in high school, and, you know, I was afraid. And the opportunities I had were wasted on, I don't know, stupidness. And I uh, never got a chance to really get to know her. And I had a friend who liked her too, so honorable me, you know, not going to go anywhere near something that's going to hurt my friend. But that wasn't the only reason, really. I mean, I knew I wasn't going to do anything because I didn't think I was good enough. You know, we're getting into more stuff about just my life. But as it pertains to things happening now and soon uh, there's an opportunity to get to know a girl 
this particular girl if I can move my life in the right direction if I can move towards it and if it's part of God's plan which I know probably a bunch of you heaved a great big sigh if there are in fact a great many people on the other side of the camera right now so there probably are but yeah I'm a God's plan kind of guy uh, it's difficult because sometimes it's obvious what God's plan is and a lot of time it's not and I know there's people out there that say well it's never obvious what God's plan is sometimes it is if you look into your decisions and you say would God want me to do this there's a clear answer almost all the time and a lot of times people ignore the question would God want me to do this I know I do it all the time and it's because it feels better I guess in the short term to just ignore it I guess really the most guilt free thing I can say is that it's easier I mean, it's not really guilt free, but it makes me feel better than saying that uh, I just ignore what God says because it's fun. It's not always fun, but you do it because it's easier most of the time, because it takes less effort to do the work that God wants you to do. That's kind of the way it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to be taking the easy path out. God wants you to do hard stuff because it makes you a better person. Um, yeah, so, um, should have said this at the beginning. This is vlog one, uh, June the 29th, I believe. Yeah, definitely June the 29th. And, uh, you just heard me talk about me. I hope, because if you didn't, then the camera's not on, <laughs> and I have used this time perhaps not as wisely as I thought it was. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for day two, end of vlog one, goodbye viewer.